The U.N. General Assembly has overwhelmingly condemned the U.S. economic embargo against Cuba, adding pressure on the Obama administration to abandon the 47-year-old policy. The Assembly voted 187 to 3 in opposition to the embargo, with only Israel and the Pacific Island nation of Palau siding with the U.S. Cuba's Foreign Minister Bruno Rodriguez told the meeting in New York that the embargo has cost the island tens of billions of dollars and has denied medical care to children. He said, quote, the blockade is an uncultured act of arrogance. So far, the Obama administration has maintained crippling trade and financial controls, first imposed by the Kennedy administration in 1962. The embargo bans Cuban imports, greatly restricts U.S. exports, and deters foreign firms from doing business with the island, 90 miles off of Florida. As a senator, Obama opposed the embargo but switched his position when running for president in order to court the votes of anti-Castro Cuban exiles in Florida. On the Cuba issue, U.S. allies such as Britain, Australia, and Colombia side against the United States, saying its Cuba policy is a Cold War anachronism, given U.S. trade with undemocratic states such as China and Vietnam. One European ambassador called the embargo demented.